Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to the world of Archspore. Hey, here I am inside my kitchen, and I just recently finished building a new mushroom farm. So let's uh, test it out, see what kind of quantity we're getting. I am hearing a lot of splashing, so that means there's probably a lot of mushrooms coming down. All right, here they come. Um, I recently saw Easty888 and Armitage build a new mushroom farm they call the Mushroom Reactor. And I went ahead and built one for myself to see if I could do it. But with the limited space that I have inside of this mountain, it uh, proved to be rather difficult to make a video of the construction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go build... I'm going to go outside and build another one for you guys to see what I did. And it looks like I got a lot of mushrooms. So I'm going to go outside and start construction and I'll be right back. Hello, and I am back. I'm currently outside my mansion building the mushroom reactor, and we're going to do a double reactor. I've got uh, a fellow Minecrafter here with me. Uh, his YouTube channel is Bleed. It's spelled 8L33D. So uh, take some time and look at his channel. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't have... I don't have the sound working correctly, so he's unable to actually speak, so we'll just have to deal with uh, text text on the screen. So, uh, What we're doing now is we're laying out the water channels for the collection, the collection spots. So I need to grab some water here. All right. Okay, good. Um, Bleed, go ahead and throw something in there, like some mushrooms or, or just something, and let's see how it flows. All right. Block is heading down. And into the lower channel. Great. That's good. That's good. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the next, the next level. What we're doing is we're placing signs right above the water channels so that we can have other water channels bring the mushrooms down and they will drop into these, um, into this other water channel. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to lay out the spawning pads for the mushrooms. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. I will be right back. Okay, here's the the concept for what I'm doing with this mushroom pad is the mushrooms have a 50% chance of spawning on the same level and a 25% chance of spawning above or below. So I want to have my seed rows on the same level as the, uh, the farming or the spawning pads. And when I'm ready to collect the mushrooms, I need the water to sweep away what I'm collecting, but not destroy my seed rows. So that's why the pads are only five wide. When I place a water source here, it finds the nearest hole and flows towards that. If it was more than five blocks, it would just spread all over the place and destroy my seed rows. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to place another another layer above this and we're going to have the water, it's going to zigzag back and forth through each layer collecting all the mushrooms. So next I'm going to place the next layer and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're up here on this the second layer and I'm going to ask uh, Bleed to place a bucket of water for me. 
and we're going to see how that flows. Yeah, go ahead. There you go. And so we have a little window into the first layer. So it's flowing down nicely. Um, Bleed, can you drop a uh, an object into the water and see if it actually makes it through? Like a block of sand or something? <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, you count it as an object. I don't think you'll fit, though. <laughs> Yeah, see, you're not going to fit in the lower layer. <laughs> there we go. Um, I think we're actually getting a dead zone. Okay, I'm going to stop for a second. All right, um, it looks like the water streams are working fine. There's a little, there's a little slow spot when they, when they fall down the first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the roof on it, and then we're going to add some sticky pistons to control our water source. And I will be right back. All right, uh, I think we did it, Bleed. We, uh, we got the water working right. So when the lever is up, the mushrooms don't flow. When the lever is down... We should get mushrooms. So there's our water. And let's go around to the other side and look and see what it's doing over there. Oop, missed the stairs. Yep, we got water flowing in there. <laughs> yeah, definitely watch my step. And so up on top, I have a row of sticky pistons here, which control the, uh, the flow of the water. Pretty easy to build, don't you think? And you can, you can stack it as high as you want to go. All right, well, let's, let's, uh, Let's go take a quick dip in the, the hot tub while we wait for the mushrooms to grow. Got to turn the water off so it, uh, mushrooms won't grow in water, so. All right, we good? Let's go hit that hot tub. All right, uh, Bleed and I are chilling out in the, the hot tub, waiting for the mushrooms to spawn. Um, we've actually been here for, what is it, three hours now? <laughs> it's been it's been a really, I, I think my toes are, are all shriveled up, hanging out in the pool the whole time. Yeah, my, my diving board sucks. There's I need to raise the roof so you can actually get a decent jump on it. I always hit my head when I'm diving off the... the... Alright, I think that's enough chilling in the, uh, the hot tub. Let's go check on our mushrooms and see how they're doing. Alright, uh, obviously Bleed runs a lot faster than me, so uh, here he is over at the mushroom farm. Say hi, Bleed. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and pull the lever and see what kind of uh, harvest we can get out of this. Look at that. A whole bunch of mushrooms already. I don't see any red ones. Oh, there we go. Very much so. Actually, I think I'm getting a lot more red ones this time. Because we, we did put the red ones on the outsides. And the brown ones in the center. Alright. After three hours, we only got 50 brown mushrooms and 35 red mushrooms. 
So overall, I think it works pretty good. What do you think? Okay, so thanks for watching, and have a good night. Yeah, we should get some stew together. My bowls are over in my kitchen. Uh, how about I meet you over there?